Welcome everyone. Today what I want to do is show you how to make a beautiful Greek style roast lamb with potatoes. The lamb is a traditional Greek meal with the oregano, lemon and olive oil, marinade and garlic. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll show you how to prepare the lamb and um, then we'll move on to the potatoes afterwards. So the first thing to let you know is I've got the oven on at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 220 degrees Celsius. It's a bit extra hot because what I want to do is initially sear the meat. So your oven should be on while you're doing this and more importantly this lamb, when you go to a butcher this is basically the, the, the forequarter, the front quarter of the of the lamb so you can see it has the, the leg the neck and the shoulder etc um, what the butchers done is actually cut it when they cut it they use a bandsaw and when they use a bandsaw you get bone fragments so it's really important as you can see here's the the sections that have been cut that's what they call cracking the lamb so it's easy to to separate and eat um, but in order to get rid of the fragments you simply just need to get your I usually use lukewarm mortar because it's a bit fatty and once the lukewarm mortar goes in there it, it gets rid of all the bone fragments and give it a good rinse okay so it can be a bit awkward you can use gloves if you don't like handling the meat directly so pretty much this will remove all those bone fragments, I can see them actually washing down the sink and saves you from ending up eating those. Okay, so the lamb is now, it feels clean as well. Once you've cleaned it, you can actually feel that the fragments disappear. Let the water go through all those saw cuts and it's ready to go. So what I'll do now is I'll bring the the pan that I'm going to cook it in, which happens to be right here. It's a large piece of meat, so I'll start off with preparing it. Okay, so some of the ingredients that you'll need, I'll just show you what I've got ready here, is you need some garlic. I've got whole garlic cloves as well as the little um, slithers. Um, I've got oregano, which is basically dry oregano and um, about a cup and a half of lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, salt and some rosemary and as well the peppers ready to go. So what we do to start off with is we want to add some garlic, uh, some garlic slithers inside the lamb because the garlic is fantastic with the lamb when it's cooked so pretty much I just find some, some points and put a knife slid in there and just put it in there, okay. It is a bit messy. So give it a slip with a knife, pop them in there. And we'll also do some at the, at the um, front part because we're gonna flip this over in a second. Okay. We're also going to put some garlic at the bottom, so I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom. Here, um, a bit of oregano just to baste it. Again, you can be quite liberal with it. Okay, put it in between the saw cuts. Okay. Bit of salt, right? Be liberal with the salt. The salt, even though you think it's a lot, once it cooks and um, the um, juices come out, the salt does tend to not be as strong. Um, I'll add a bit of lemon juice on it, okay? And we will. Just pour some olive oil just to get inside those saw cuts. 
Okay, so that's the bottom part. Now I'll flip her over here and I'll prepare the top very similar to here. The garlic will be going into various. So again, cut a slot. Add the piece of garlic inside. Okay, push it in. Finding a soft spot there. The lucky person that likes a little shank here. Okay, the garlic slithers go in. We will then focus on adding again the oregano on top of this and what I will do is I'll give the um, I just marinate baste it with the oregano again be liberal I've got some lemon juice in this mix as well as well as a bit of olive oil be liberal with it place it everywhere and the thing I forgot to do which I'll do now is this is the secret add some whole garlic cloves at the bottom of this okay you'll find out later when it when it does roast that garlic at the bottom is is delicious so it also adds the flavor okay now I add so again you don't have to be there's no real science to it you don't have to be exact with your measurements just just you know Sprinkle liberally on your uh, meat. Add some olive oil to the top like that. So again, no measures, you know. You'll get the feel of it as you do it and a bit of lemon juice on top of it as well. And what we'll do as well is add a bit of pepper. To this and the other thing I want to do is just add some rosemary so the rosemary you can just basically shred the rosemary it's more for the aroma some people actually when they make a roast they they do the little holes similar to the garlic and put the rosemary in but this is pretty much gonna bake on top and just add some really nice flavors and aromas into your meal okay throw another one into the dish so really that's that's all the preparation that you have to do um, what I'm gonna do with this is put it in the oven which is very hot at the moment to allow it to actually sear it um, it'll retain the flavors and then I'll pull it out in about 20 minutes and we'll coat it with the uh, aluminium foil and Then we'll make it cook slowly for a couple of hours You can make it cook slowly for three hours the longer you'd leave it the better Low temperature um, then the meat will fall off the bone But I'll just put this in the oven and then we'll start on the I'll show you the preparation for the potato. So let me just do this okay, It's a very hot oven You throw your potatoes in your your pan like that, and what we'll do with the potatoes is very similar to the lamb. Is here I'll be adding the oregano and water and, and olive oil, etc. So again, potatoes be very liberal with your olive oil. Some people, usually I mix them inside that pan with the olive oil, oregano and um, um, salt and pepper. But um, I, for the purpose of the video and for the time, I'll just quickly show you how to prepare them. So I simply add some oregano to those. I, I like sprinkling the oregano on them just to see. If you put too much oregano on the potatoes, they actually become a bit bitter. So you don't want to add too much 
All right, guys, it's more for the, that nice um, scent that it gives. And just to show you the potatoes, you need to add water to potatoes. And I usually like to add warm water because it means they don't have to cook as, as long because the oven will be heating up the water. But I let the water go close to the level of the potatoes. The water does evaporate the leaf in. It can look a bit daunting when you put that much water in there, but at the end of it, there won't be any water left. I then add my lemon juice. Okay, this is probably about, you don't want to go overboard, this is probably about one and a half lemons in there. A um, bit of salt. And as you can see, Even if we had pre-mixed it, all the ingredients float towards the surface. And finally, some pepper. Okay, it's to taste. Some people, there's no exact amounts. You know, people don't like as much pepper. Um, they like them to be um, not as spicy. I find the pepper within my food um, that I'm not, I, I enjoy eating pepper in food, so I, I'm pretty liberal with it. And again, looking at that, I can see I'm not worried about adding some more olive oil because it adds a nice crust to them. So again, I just pour some more olive oil over the top. When that water evaporates, this olive oil is gonna sink over the potatoes and it'll form a beautiful, nice crust as they're cooking. So we'll come back when the meat is ready to get covered with the aluminium foil and then we'll put the potatoes in. So see you soon. Okay, it's now been 20 minutes since we put the meat in the oven and I pulled it out. So you can have a look at it now to see what it looks like. So it's starting to brown a bit. Basically it's, it's seared, keeping in the juices. Now we're gonna get on to the next part of it which is actually making it cook slower now so that it can become tender and um, the meat fall off the bone. So, what I'm going to do now is I've got the lemon juice that was remaining and I've added some water to it so it makes up about a cup. I simply pour that over and into the, the pan and that'll keep it moist whilst it's covered. Then you get this way and you want to form a nice seal around your pan. It is hot, so you have to be careful when you're doing it. Hopefully you don't experience the same issues as me. Just be a bit more careful. And um, this pretty much will form a nice seal. Push the... My pan's actually got ridges, which makes it easy to do. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep in all the the heat and the steam that's evaporating and we'll get back to this in a couple of hours where it should be falling off the bone so ready to put this back in the oven I've lowered the temperature down to 175 degrees now It's now been about two hours and 20 minutes since we started. Let's have a look what's happened with the food. So, okay, the lamb's lovely. As you can see, the meat's starting to separate from the bone, so it's gonna be perfect. Um, pretty much the food will be ready to serve immediately um, I'd let the lamb rest for about 15 minutes or so before serving you can see the garlic that's actually under the lamb it's roasted so they're little treats if um, if you're into garlic so basically put that on the platter put the potatoes on the platter take them to your dinner table and enjoy the meal it's a beautiful Greek dish and um, hope you have fun making it <laughs>